Retired Assistant Police Commissioner Paul Slow has described as obnoxious comments by Vice President Barra Jagdio on the elections fraud case. He said that Jagdio is trying to prejudice the outcome of the matter. Mr. Jagdio said that given the diplomatic community's high interest in the controversial 2020 elections, he believes it is only fair that they be invited to observe the trial. And then he's quoted there saying, it's quote, it is crucial that we pursue this pathway, if for only one reason, to ensure that the people don't act or public officers do not act with impunity in the future. He said that from his utterances, the vice president isn't pleased with the proceedings. He's unhappy that repeated objections by the defense are being entertained. Jagdo said the objections have the potential to further delay the case. It is similar in a similar position as being taken by the special state prosecutor in the matter. Then they're quoting me again as saying, the defense lawyers for the, peop for, for the people who have been charged have tried all sorts of delaying tactics and they have succeeded thus far. He described the objections as frivolous. He's predicting that the matter would find its way before the Caribbean Court of Justice. Slow said that Jagde is using this platform to criticize the magistrate. What is wrong with defense lawyers making objections? It happens all the time. All over the world, that is what they do to make objections. The magistrate will rule on the objections. If the magistrate decides that a particular piece of evidence is inadmissible, the magistrate so rules. If you want to challenge it, challenge it at the next level. But I say, and you know, this what annoys me with these matters is that you get the public, um, what do you call them? The private sector, and all them public sector institute, uh, institutions, the guardians of democracy, and I just sit there quiet. He said that there have been delays. He added that if the defense is using the process to their advantage, that is their right. So you're already predicting they're going to go all the way to the CCJ. So even before the matter has ended, or even started, well, it's not started, but even progressed properly in the Manchester Court, the vice president can depth on the um, airwaves and make all of these statements, incendiary statements I refer Still to. Still recall that the government official described Justice Sandil Kisun as presumptuous when he ruled on a matter against the government. You had the case with the G teachers union, where the chief education officer, he there, defied the order of the judge. Judge made an order and he wrote a memo countermanding, disregarding the order of the judge. And as we have said on this program before, Perhaps the people on the bench, the judges and the magistrates are to be blamed because when they make these statements and the, 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 these statements, you should call them and deal with them for contempt. That is what should happen.